do something a little bit interesting this week. I'm going to test out the idea and I'm going to play around with it of doing some vlogs on this channel. Mainly because I love it when other people do these types of videos and I love watching them. They're generally one of my favourite videos to watch. I think it's because I spend all my time in a hospital and I never have a life so I love to see what other people get up to. But I thought I would start doing some vlogs. Um, I think I'm going to kind of collate things from my week and put them all together that way and then I will kind of see how I go. So basically today um, I have just got back, I, you will see some clips before this of, wow I don't know how vloggers do this, my arm aches. So before this I showed you a couple of clips um, at which were my first clips shooting outdoors which I am very very proud of. I'm very self-conscious with getting cameras out, like getting phones out is okay, but getting like an actual camera out and showing people, yes I'm filming, is a bit more kind of nerve-wracking. So I had my fur, my last even, my last university assignment today. I had to go in to Liverpool and give a presentation on a quality improvement project I did in placement. Um, so that was really interesting. It was a bit... I wasn't nervous, I was just ready to have it over and done with. I'm ready to kind of just get my last placement done and be a registered nurse now. But it was good, it was a laugh, it was nice to see everyone again. Um, because when we're on placement, you don't really see anyone unless they're in the same kind of placement area as you. So I hope you guys enjoy these vlogs. Please let me know if you like them or not, be honest. Um, I am still getting to grips with things, so things like obviously I might be a bit shaky holding the camera and what have you, but please be honest and let me know if it is something you'd like to see, kind of a bit more vlogging my life and like my days and that. And I hope you guys enjoy. I'm off to university today to help out with the off skis for the first years so I thought I would bring you along with me as So I am just at university. I've come over to Liverpool. I was going to film a little clip um, as we were driving over to Liverpool. I'm sat in my mum's car. So obviously that's the driver's side so don't worry I'm not sat ready to drive. Um, but basically I think the lighting's better on this side isn't it. Um, I was going to film a little clip kind of of me as we like kind of a little route as we were driving but um my mum doesn't is not really that confident driving in Liverpool so kind of once we got over here I needed to kind of pay attention to how she was driving and where she was driving and things. Um so we are I've just got to uni and picked up my watch and my Fitbit thankfully they were still there. Um, um my lecturers are so nice for keeping hold of them for me and noticing them that they were there. Um we're just about to go get some food and go do food shopping so I don't quite know where we're going to eat um but we're going to do some food shopping as well because we are de desperately low on food and then I am cooking enchiladas tonight so I might film a little bit of that as well so we shall see <music>
So I just got back from food shopping. I didn't film any clips when I was food shopping because um, we were pretty much darting around Costco and a couple of other places. So I thought I would just show you quickly what we got. I'm trying to be healthier. So I've bought a couple of bits that are kind of to help me push towards that bit. So I will show you everything I've got. Um, it's all kind of a bit of a jumble. I've just packed it out of the bags onto the table and onto the counter so I will just show you it all. So first up in Costco I got these Pepsi Max Cherry because I have like a serious <laughs> affliction for um, like fizzy pop. That's one of the things I really struggle with when I'm trying to eat healthy. And I much prefer these because they're no sugar, no calories. Or I think if they are a calorie, they're like one calorie. And these are super cheap from Costco, so I bought a big one. And then my mum also bought some of the Pepsi Max, I think it is. Yeah, I think it's the Pepsi Max. Um, and they were both about £5 each. I got myself some strawberries from Costco because I eat these a lot. And these are only 4 99 for like a massive one. So after dinner I'm going to like ch wash them all and chop kind of the greens off and put them back in so that they're just ready to go and chop. And then I got myself some sweet potatoes because these are massive, the sweet potatoes from Costco. And they're only 2 99 compared to like a pound and you get one that's like maybe half the size of that. I also got some more chia seeds. These are different from the ones I had last time. The ones I had are the ones, you can get them in supermarkets and they come in like a bright orange packaging. Um, I don't, I've never heard of this brand, but I love chia seeds for yoghurt, overnight oats, overnight chia and smoothies and things as well. Um, I'm going to start trying to do some smoothie bowls. So these were like the new ones that you could have. We also nipped into the new M&S food hall that's just opened by me and we got a couple of bits, um, mainly my mum's partner got some snacky bits but we got some Italian ground coffee for the cafetiera and then in Home and Bargains we got some dog food, we just need a little bit, um, we tend to do like, get the big packs which are like four of these, we got him some dental sticks as well and some like little treats, um, we like to get both because he is good so we treat him. Got some grease proof bacon paper and we got these for the cat which are like, she only really eats the cat food and gravy and we picked these up quickly in Home Bargains because I think we've only got like two sachets left. She doesn't eat the jelly ones because she only licks the jelly off the meat and then leaves half the meat. So we thought we'd try these and these were only I think 2 99 so we got her those. And then in Costco as well my mum got like this meaty big pack of water to put in the fridge um i know it's probably not the best buying bottles of water instead of getting a filter thing but she prefers bottles of water and i don't mind as long as it's cold and then in home bargains i picked these up um i will at some point do i have one of these that is like a massive one that's got like three and i always wish that they did ones that were kind of like individual and I found these for I think 150 each. So I got both of those to go in my room and I'd kind of keep them for when I moved out into my own place. So now I will go on to all the other bits. So in Aldi we got some, got three passages. We tend to use this for like pasta sauces, spag bol, lasagna, enchiladas, all of that they get used for. We got some mild curry sauce. I don't eat curries but everyone in my house has curry and I make something different. So we just got the mild because my mum can't handle spice. I got a massive avocado because they were on sale. They were only like 89p. Got two of the Aldi um, pestos. These are the best ones I found. They're the pesto rosso, I think you call it. And it's basically the ones that have got, is it tomato? Um, basil tomatoes and like cheese. So it's like really, really basic. We also got some of these cheese triangles and my mum wanted the cheese spread. I love putting these on like sandwiches or wraps and things. They're always nice. We did get two bags of fuseli. Um, I tend to prefer brown pasta but we didn't have time to go anywhere else to get the brown pasta so I just got two bags of fuseli because they're my favourite. 
these are for my mum and her partner these are chicken kievs so they've got the cheese and ham ones and then garlic and herb as well and um, also it's worth mentioning we do tend to shop a couple of weeks at a time we don't tend to do a week shopping at a time so as you can see we have two roast chickens in the bag and two yorkshire puddings there we have some rocket um, and then i bought some of these like frozen berry pots um, i got the blueberries and then i got the raspberries as well which i then found when i was looking in the freezer that i already have raspberries and i forgot about them we got a massive block of mature white cheddar because my little brother eats a hell of a lot of cheese we got a block of puff pastry. I got some of these rice cakes with the yogurt coat in. I wanted to get a pack. They do ones that are chocolate covered as well. Um, and they're like three packs of three. I can't eat all three that's in a pack. So I tend to eat one and put them in like a Ziploc bag. And then kind of eat one. And then like eat one a day for three days. We got two packs of garlic wraps. These are for enchiladas. If you ever make enchiladas, seriously put them in the super soft garlic wraps from Aldi. They are so good. Um, some rocket, which I think I've already said. We got two of just the basic everyday spaghetti. Um, I really wanted brown spaghetti as well, but again, they didn't have it. I got some beef and chicken gravies. <coughs> so I am currently just frying off the chicken for the enchiladas. I didn't, I, I did say in my last clip I might put you on a tripod, but just because I move about quite a bit in the kitchen, I didn't. Um, so I thought I'd just keep you updated. So I'm currently frying off the chicken. So, so it's all frying off in there, in goodness. Um, when I do enchiladas, for some reason, I always fry them off in a little bit of like butter or marge. I know it's not the healthiest, but for some reason the pan we use, if you use any chicken with oil, it makes the oil, like the oil makes it really stick to the pan um, and it's so difficult to cook then. Um, so I basically used a bunch of chicken strips from Aldi. Um, I found theirs are the best like to use for the frozen ones and then I basically cut them up into a bunch of little chunks, if you can see that. Um, so it kind of makes you feel like you've got more chicken in your enchilada. Um, but yeah, so that's what I do. So I've grated all the, whoops, I have grated all the cheese, which is there. And then I have my plates ready because after this has fried off and has gone like a golden colour, I add in a passata and then I add some cheese and some um, chilli powder. I use this one from Ali. And then I put a plate over it. I put one of these plates over the chicken and then turn the heat down. Um, and then I leave that to kind of cook for about 10 minutes before I start wrapping them all up. And I think the taste, it really makes it taste nice. So I'll get back to you once I have put everything in the pan so you can see what it looks like. 